Hello everybody, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Ohio, and I'm here to bring you a card tonight. I know it's been a little while since I've been on. been a hectic time here. We had a funeral we had to uh, attend to and help with at the church, and just one thing after another, time got away from me. And finally, on a Saturday night, here I am. It is Saturday night for me, and I don't know when you'll be watching this, what day it'll be, but... Saturday night here and um, so I am going to try and get a video done so that you guys can see that I'm setting up my computer right now just making sure that I've got it in shot to where I can see what's going on okay that is all ready so um, you know um, I don't even think if I've been on since celebration ended I don't even know um, but it is over, and now we are on to our online exclusives. And if you don't know what that is, we have several items, several items, that have come onto our online stores that you can shop online only for, you know, as a customer. You can um, shop, and those things will last on there. They don't have a date when they retire or anything. They're on there until Stampin' Up! decides to let them go. There are some neat things. I'll show them to you when I turn my phone down so that you'll be able to see them. And um, let me see here. What else was I going to tell you about? We will be, you know, we have next month is April, which if you're a demonstrator, you'll get to do your pre-order out of the new annual catalog. And then in May, that new catalog comes out, and um, we'll be good to go for another year with that. So, that's going to be fun. You know, we have things changing all the time, so um, just fun. Just fun. Lots of new ideas and stuff, and keeps us on our toes, keeps us guessing. I do want to say that if you do not have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Um to order from. I do have an online store. It's RitaHolmes.StampinUp.net and um, you can order there at any time. You can join there in which there's a lot of perks to joining a team, especially if you're a hobbyist and you like to buy lots of stuff because then you get a discount. And um, that discount really does help because it starts at 20% and therefore getting 20% off if Nothing else that really helps with your shipping and your taxes and stuff like that um, to pay for all that stuff and then get money off of your... So that's what it boils down to. It actually comes off of your order, but if you do the math on it, it, it takes care of, of that shipping and taxes and then gives you a little bit off on your order. So, um, but it's 20%. 20% any way you look at it. And um, I would love to have you join my team. I want my team to grow. And the only way it's going to grow is for me to ask people to join. And I would love for you to be able to do that with me and, and join a team that is, is growing, that is trying to grow and doesn't have many people in it. So you get individual attention. Um, you get a lot of help when you need it. Different things like that. So I'm just saying that to let you all know. And you can do that on my uh, at my online store. You can join there. You can call and talk to me. You can message me, whatever. So, I am going to turn things down because we're going to get started on a card, and I am going to tell you this card may look intimidating, but it is not. Um, once you get going, the measurements are going to be a little hard for some people, but um, I have a cheat sheet made. So, I'm going to show all that to you here in just a second. Close your eyes if you get dizzy. I'm getting ready to turn my phone. As soon as I get my cord unstuck. Nothing like a stuck cord. Right when you don't need it stuck, right? And then it's caught somewhere along the line down here. That looks all blurry and crooked and everything else. I was taking pictures with it earlier, so I probably got it all miscombobulated. Here is our card that we're going to do tonight. 
and it is a fun card. I will bring my camera down just a little bit so that you will be able to see a little bit closer. Um, but before we get on with the card, I want to show you those online exclusives I told you about. Here they are. There's a tropical set with a punch. Right, the they're called Rhino Ready Little Rhinoceros with a um, that has a punch. This has dyes. Then, of course, Irresistible Blooms, and that's they had a sneak peek of that. That was out, so you got to see that. Then they have like um, gold and silver trim, another stamp set, some more border dyes, um, stitch dyes, different stitch dyes, gilded paper. The Loose Frosted Dots, Alphabet, and here they have the three, the trio of embossing folders that come together. They're $30, and they have the Leaf Fall folder back out. The paper for the um, Hello Irresistible Blooms, the Textural Elements, and here is Hope and Peace, which was out in the Christmas catalog. And then we have two returning punches, the one and three quarter inch and the two inch. So all of those are online. If you do not order online and you have a demo, or if you don't have a demo and get a hold of me, I can order these through my, um, as a demonstrator, I can order them for you and help you out with that order. But the idea is to try to get people to try to order online. So... Anyway, but if you don't know how to do that and, you, and you're not comfortable doing that, doesn't mean you have to go without. You just get a hold of your demonstrator, or if you don't have one, get a hold of me, and we'll make it happen for you, okay? So there's that part. Here is my information. It is my store, freedahomes.stampinup.net. There's my March host code. If you place an order with me, please use that. If your order would be over $150, don't use that so that you can get the free merchandise coming to you with an order that's over $150. Okay? So there we go with that. Now, the last thing I want to tell you is I do have a PDF that I make, and I put this over on my Facebook group, which is Stamp Crazy VIP. It's a Facebook group. Anybody can join. I do PDFs. Put the directions there. Here is the directions. The pictures of the card. What I used. The directions. A picture of my cheat sheet, which I will be showing you here in a minute. And this is a picture of everything that's used on the card. I just want to show you how it's cut. There's five long pieces. There's ten of the short little pieces. And then seven flowers and six leaves and I use the punches on that and I'll show you all that as we go so here we are with our card the stamp set that I used which I only used a greeting set was go to greetings and I'm using this little itty bitty hello up here so that's the only stamp set that's being used so I'll put that out here out of our way I use the bow punch um, this leaf right here for my leaves, I use the medium daisy punch for all of my daisies, which I love that punch. I'm glad it's not gone anywhere. And then the inks I used were, I don't know why that's in there. I didn't use it, but I must have used it for something somewhere along the line. Um, I use soft suede. Calypso Coral, Highland Heather, and Old Olive. And that's the colors that we are going to be using. I'm going to set them up here out of the way. And um, if you need a screenshot of that, you might want to take it because I'm going to have to move it because I'm going to be getting my paper trimmer because we are going to be cutting some paper. So let's move this over to here, maybe. I'll move this over. I'm going to be using this. This is my piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11. 
and we're going to fold that in half. So let's fold that and score it. Okay, here's where it's going to come into where you're going to say, oh no, I can't do this. I am going to cut this, I'm going to cut five, five eighths inch pieces. They'll be five eighths inch by 11 because I'm using this piece of cardstock. That's our card folded in half, okay? I tried to do it at three quarter inch. Did not leave enough room. And I think this card looks way too crowded. These aren't even. It was just really hard to do, trying to do three quarter inch. So I scrapped it. So anyway, um, this was trial and error because I did this. I saw the card online, I'll say that. And, but there was no directions to it. So I was like, I'm gonna figure out some directions to this. Um, coming to find out her card was a five by seven, which I do all four and a quarter um, by five and a half, you know, when it's folded. So I had to redo the measurements. So anyway, I'm gonna go to five eighths, which on our paper trimmer, since it's in 16th inches, it is two marks over from the half inch, cause half inch, is four eighths and we're going to five eighths, which is two over since it's done in 16 inches. So I'm gonna shut that, I'm going to cut, and I'm going to cut five of these, okay? Now the little ones I already have cut, but I'll, oh, that didn't do right, look at that. After I tell you how to do it, and then I did it wrong. I knew as soon as I shut this lid that, There's two, three, four, and five. I hope that one's at five since I moved my finger on it. Yep, it is. And then I have a little piece left over, which would have been a little bit bigger had I not made a mistake. For my little strips that go across, I use four and a quarter. And it can be any size because what you're going to do with that, and I'm just going to cut a couple, is I go into a quarter inch. And I just cut, and I actually cut ten of these for my card. And you just go and, and you cut until you get 10 of them cut. But I already have some cut, so let's not worry about these. It's over here. Okay? So we'll stick this back out of our way. We don't need it in our way. We don't need anything in our way. So I'm done with this for now. Now I'm going to bring in my cheat sheet and show you. And I did it on a piece of the 6x6 six six grid paper just because it already had the marks on it. And it was easier for me to follow. Let me hold it up and so you can see it. So I lay my first piece. It says first piece here. I lay my last piece here, which will be at four and a quarter. And then what I do is that these little marks here is where my second, third, and fourth piece will go. That gives me all five. So it's kind of like my cheat sheet, and I went ahead and wrote that it's five inch strips and the size paper and what I did so that that's kind of on here as a reminder and I don't have to look like at the PDF and stuff. So that is my sheet. I'm going to put it down here so that you can see the top and the bottom. And I have five of these. So let's see if that can stay. It might stay in the viewing area, might not. Okay, so what we do is we're gonna open these just like we open our card, okay? I'm gonna lay one down here at the very beginning. And before I do that, I find it easier because this is on my desk and my desk is kind of slippery. 
that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape this down. It just makes life a little bit easier for me. And I'm all for the easy life. Looks like it's kind of crooked. It looks straight to me, but that's because my camera's kind of crooked here. I don't know. Looks straight to me. So anyway, I'm going to lay my first one down. And just keep that right there and hope that my fingers don't move it when I... It's kind of like, you know, laying something down and picking your hand up real quick. And I'm gonna lay this last one here at this four and a quarter. So. And I wanna make sure I got them straight to where they look straight. I'm gonna take one of my, they're a quarter inch by four and a quarter, or a little bit longer actually, because I know that's the piece of paper I used. And this will have just a little bit, but I'll trim them off at the, at the end. And I'm gonna use my liquid glue, and I'm just going to put a little Mark a glue down there on each side. Okay. And then I'm going to take, and I'm gonna line that up at the bottom and at one side. Whoops. Okay. So that looks pretty straight to me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this for a second. We're just gonna slide it over here. We're gonna take our other three and I'm gonna put them down at the marks that I had figured out for my and you gotta watch if you get any glue whatsoever on your fingers then you keep picking up with your pieces and it gets frustrating So I try to line them up right with the bottom of the piece of um, grid paper. And I have those three. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each one of these And I'm just putting glue at the bottom, just like I did on the other ones. Then I'm gonna bring this back in. Whoa, and I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna lay that down, the first one down where it goes. And then I'm gonna lay that across those three and lay this one back down where it goes. Okay. So see how I have that And then we'll make sure that they're all kind of even. I'm gonna bring these around, turn them around, and I'm just gonna line these back up where they go, where I slid them around. And that way, Cause it's really wobbly until you get it all connected right. Okay. 
Okay. There we go, that looks good enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each one of those again. And I'm going to bring this in and lay that down. Okay, whoops, one of them didn't stick. And you wanna make sure that they all stick. And then you can pick it up. So what I'm doing is I'm turning that back over and I'm going to put some glue on each one of those long strips again, because this is like a reinforcement. And I'm going to put this on to make sure that everything stays in its perimeters. Okay, and we're gonna do the same down here. Then this is the hard part that is all done. The, everything else is pretty easy. And I promise. And as you can see, one of these stick out just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell that. But what I will do is I will fix that on. I can just trim it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that down. And I'm just going to. We've got that down so far. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this back one because it is all done. So I'm just gonna trim the edges here just to have that out of my way. And I know this one right here has just a little lip on it. And we get that out of the way, okay. So now we are ready to finish the card. We're going to take six more of these. You can do seven if you like. Two, three, four, five, six. You could do more. It just depends. But we're going to start our weaving. And what you do when you weave is I've already have one on the outside here. So I'm going to start underneath. And I'm going to weave this in just like I was weaving a basket. And I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to make sure it's in there. Because we will be pushing it over to the end once we're done. You don't have to worry about that right now. So I'm going to take the next one. And I'm going to start. It's going to go over that first one. And we're just going to go over and under again. Sure we are. Right? There we go. And then I'm, I'm just pushing them down for right now and making sure that they the further up you go, the easier it is to get them down and uh, because you have more wiggle room
I'm going to add a couple more just to show how it is to make a bigger basket. Make it look a little... Feels like I got two here, but no, I only have one. So let's just go in and out, in and out, and in and out. In and out. That's what we do, in and out. I'm going to do one more. I'm actually going to put eight on this one. See how that goes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all of my ones that are on the front here are lined up to the edge. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue and glue each one of them. So I just lift them up, put a little glue under there and hold it down. Just press down really hard when you do that and it'll hold it. Make sure that last one's down where it needs to be. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just do the other ends. Then I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to make sure that on one side that they all meet at the edge. Get them to meet where they need to be. And I'm going to lift these up again, just like I did on the first side. Press them down. These would make great, whoops, that one is not over there. I must have pulled it back some. So let's pull that over just a hair. There we go. And that's why I don't glue these as I go, because I want to make sure at the end I can get them all where they need to be. But this would make a great Mother's Day card. It would make great Easter cards. Um, really, you could do anything, but I thought Mother's Day and Easter really stuck out at me when I was playing with them. And I have to say, it took me a while to get it made, doing my first one. And I'm going to bring in my glue eraser. I haven't done that for a while, I don't think. I'm just going to erase any little glue marks I have. I don't want my card to be shut. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim off these edges you could put it on your paper trimmer if you wanted to, or just take your scissors and give it a good trim. Like so. Whoops, knocked my glue over. That's okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this. I don't want it all dirty because I'm gonna save it. It's my cheat sheet. My cheating sheet. Get this piece of tape up off my desk. I just abuse everything. When it comes to stamping, it's like, hey, I'll use this, I'll use this. I'll do this, worry about it later. So now I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap. I'll bring this in. And first, before we do that, almost forgot, 
you'll need a quarter corner rounder and I'm using the one Stampin' Up used to have because we don't have a corner rounder Stampin' Up does not maybe they think nobody rounds corners anymore but we are so we're just going to round the corners of our basket And we're going to do it on the front and the back so that they match. I have to stand up to do this. There we go. Whoops. Come out there. So now we have our card. We have that rounded on the bottom so i'm going to open it up and i'm going to bring in one of my blending brushes and my soft suede and i'm going to ink that up really good and i'm just going to darken the bottom part of my basket And there's my basket. Then I'm going to take this white piece, which is going to go on the inside of my card. It's going to go right here so it can be signed. So I am going to take that before I put my brush away. And I'm just going to soften that white. Basically cleaning my brush out is what I'm doing. And you don't have to get it all even the same color. It's just we're taking the starkness of the white away. So we have that done. Now what we're going to do is we're, I used the daisies. And um, I used all white. And I'm going to color them. So I'm going to turn this over. Because I don't want all that brown. And I'm using seven daisies, so let's count out seven. There's one. We're going to use that one. That's five, six, seven. I got the right amount. I'm impressed. So let's do our daisies first. And what I did with the daisies, I did Calypso Coral and Highland Heather. So let's do some Calypso Coral first. And all I did was I just put some of that on the, kind of on the end. I started in the center and just brushed my way out a little bit. Not really making sure I get them all the same color again, just like doing on the inside. Left it kind of light, kind of dark. You know, not all flowers are alike, so we don't have to get them alike. Okay, one, two, three, four, yep. So there's our four Calypso Coral brushes. Get some of that ink out of there. Now we'll do Highland Heather. So let's put these in here and and this is really I left my pads kind of dry because I didn't want them to 
soak up a lot of ink. That one's getting a little dry dry. Okay, we got those done. Now what we have to do is the leaves. And I took the bow punch and I just take seven leaves. One, two, three. No, six leaves. Four, five, six. Had a bunch of leaves, didn't I? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the stem it's too long. I don't want it sticking out anywhere, so I'm just cutting them off. Makes it nicer. Don't need those long stems. So we just cut those off. I did use pear pizzazz on, on here, but I'm using old olive ink because it's just a little tiny bit darker, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And I'm gonna use it, ink up. Get my leaves apart here that are stuck. And then I'm just doing the edges of them. Oops, you gotta be careful you don't tear your leaves up too. I sometimes forget to hold them down good. I love the looks of this card. I think it's different. It's got a wow factor to it. We all like wow factors. Um, and like I said, it looks a little intimidating, but it's not. I did this on my Tuesday Live this week. And I um, had a couple people make it and show me what they made. So, I know it's doable. So, we have all of that done. We're done with our inks. So, let's get this messy piece of paper out of our way. We're going to bring this in, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to put this little piece on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write above where I put that crossbar to hold it together. I'm going to put some glue, and then I'm going to take on the back side and put glue up each side, just a little bit. I don't want it all squishy. And we're going to lay that down. And I cut this like four, because the card is four and a quarter, so that I can, um, would have room and it wouldn't be sticking out. So there we go, we have our back on there. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a flower on the inside. So I'm just gonna put glue on the center of it. Didn't want that much glue, but. We did it. So we're just gonna put that right there. And then we're going to close this and we are going to just, what I do first is, and since I've done it 
several times, I'm going to go ahead, but you might want to place your leaves on your card first to see where you might want them. I feel like I can do this in my sleep now. So I'm just gonna put them on here and hope for the best. And you don't want the glue to be in between the, um, the, in the open spaces because then you'll have a mess. So just put it on where it's going to be touching. That's what I would do. So I've positioned these just a little bit different than the other one. That got squishy right there, but that's all right. We'll cover it with a flower. And what I'm going to do, I almost forgot, I'm going to bring my flowers in. And I'm going to get a stylus. I use the one that's on the um, score scoring tool. And I'm just going to raise these flowers a little bit. So I use a piercing mat. And raise your flowers. That one's already raised. And then we'll just, and this just raises it a little bit, gives it a little bit more 3D look. And um, it will go down a little bit in an envelope, but it kind of raises back up. It doesn't stay completely flat. I don't want to get glue on my mat, so we're going to move it over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do... So I'm just going to add my flowers. And you want to make sure that you're, you get your placement to where you're going to get that to, not in the center of your um, where the open spaces are because then you have a mess and you don't want to mess. Come on. There we go. I got glue on my fingers, so therefore I keep moving it up with my fingers. Let me get my stylus back out. No way I flattened my poor little flower, but that's okay.
think I'm gonna put him down there. There we go, that's a smarter move. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little scrap of paper and I'm going to use the soft suede again. And I'm going to stamp this little hello one here, which the writing is so little. Try to make sure I get it all inked without getting ink on the edges. There we go. That's the bad thing about little itty bitty stamps is you just get little itty bitty places to go with that. So I'm going to cut these. And then after I cut that, I just go ahead and Go straight across and make that really little. And drop it on the floor and you can't see it. That's what I do. Okay, do I want this up here or down here? I want to put it down. And I'm going to take the mini um, dimensionals and I'm going to put two of them on there. One on each side so that And then all we have left to do is put the little embellishments on there, the centers of our flowers. And this will mail in the mail because I mailed one. And what I do is I actually take these are the, oh, what are they called? Opal rounds. And I just put one in the center of each of these flowers. So there's six of those, and then I have a new pack here. I'm going to get one of the smaller ones. And I'm going to stick it on the inside on this little flower. There we go. And that is our card. That is it. So... It looks like a basket, and that's how you open it up, and there's a place for you to sign. So, there they are. They look a little, they look somewhat the same, somewhat different, just the way the flowers are placed, and that's, you know, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to get the same card twice, hopefully, and then that way you have them done. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to be back sooner than it was this last time because I'm hoping that things get settled. I will tell you that I'm getting ready to put together a class to go. I'll show you my cards real quick. Let me move these out of the way. I don't have my pricing yet. I just now finished it right before I did this video. But I did it with the Taco Fiesta set, which is this right here. 
And it's just a stamp set. It has it's not bundled or anything. It's just a freestanding set. Doesn't have anything particular that goes with it. So here's my cards for my class to go. There's this one. And you open it like this. So there's one of them. Here's the other one. There's five of them. Here's another one. And there's one. And then here's the last one. It says, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And so that's the last one. There's, and so it's going to be ten cards, two of two each of five designs. And um, I don't have the pricing yet. I will have that. I might even come back and do a little video blurb on it so that everybody can see it. And uh, But if you think it's something you might like, stay tuned because I am going to have the information here probably, hopefully, tomorrow or Monday. So, with all that being said, I am going to go tonight, girls, and I, or guys, whoever's watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.